Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation 4, homebrew news, and much, much more. Okay, so I've got a question for you. Have you ever wanted to build your own PlayStation 4 payload that you could run on your PlayStation 4 regardless of what exploit or what system software you're currently using on your PlayStation 4? Well, if so, then you came to the right place because today I'm going to show you exactly how you can use the PlayStation 4 payload SDK to build your own payload. We're going to do everything from the very beginning to the very end. So let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so the very first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to head over to this GitHub site. Once you land on this site, this is the PS4 Payload SDK. So this is an open source SDK for writing payloads for the PlayStation 4. Okay, and so simply go up to code and then download zip and it should be downloaded. Once that's done, let's head over to Windows Explorer. And so in Windows Explorer on my box, I simply have a PS4 folder where I keep a bunch of different things that I work on. What we need to do is I want to create a new folder where we can work with that SDK. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to right click new and I'm just going to create a new folder. And this time I'm just going to give it a name of payload SDK. And now we'll go into that folder and let's just paste that zip file that we just downloaded. And now we'll go ahead and we will right click on that and we will just extract it to here. And just to keep things nice and tidy, let's go into that folder and let's just select all the files here and let's copy those or cut those. And then we're just going to paste those back in the root of our payload SDK folder. To keep things nice and clean, let's get rid of the folder that it created as well as that zip file. So we'll just delete both of those. And then in my instance, I am using a couple of tools that you should probably go ahead and download as well. You can get these from the Microsoft Store. So just open up the Microsoft Store app, type in the word terminal, and the very first one that we're going to download is just going to be the Windows Terminal. All of these are absolutely free, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. So just go ahead and download the Windows Terminal. And then once you have that finished, we're going to download Ubuntu. It doesn't really matter which version of Ubuntu that you download. This is also part of what's called the Windows subsystem for Linux, which is what you're also going to be working with here in order to compile your own payloads. Once you have those two items downloaded and installed, then you can continue back with the video here. Okay, and so now I'm just gonna go ahead and bring open my Windows terminal. And by default, it brings you to the command prompt but if you downloaded Ubuntu like we did just a moment ago, you should be able to click a drop down and then select Ubuntu. And so what we need to do now is we need to navigate to where we downloaded the payload SDK and extracted it to. If you just simply do a PWD here, you can see that by default, we're typically in our home username directory. So from here, in order to get back to the folder that we had in Windows where I stored the SDK at, I need to simply type in cd for change directory slash mnt slash c for my c drive slash ps4 slash payload SDK and then press return. I can do an ls-l here to do a long listing and what do I see? I see install.sh. So we need to run the install.sh to set up our machine in order to compile these payloads. So we need to simply run sudo bash install.sh and then press return. You will need to enter your password. And yes, I missed it two times here before I got it correct. And then just give this a little bit of time to connect. So first off, as you can see, mine is reaching out to Ubuntu for a couple of updates that it needs, and it's now continuing. And if you see this error message here where it says error processing package libc-bin, don't worry about it. This is very 
typical, or at least I got it on multiple machines as I was working with this. Just let it continue and eventually you should see it finish as it is shown here. Okay, so now we have the payload SDK installed. Let's go ahead and pick a payload that already exists because it'll kind of give us a template for what we might need to do in the future for our own original payloads. So the payload that we will look at here is just simply called PS4 Disable Updates. This is the payload that you typically run that will block additional PlayStation 4 system updates from coming in. So again, head over to where it says code and then download zip and it will be downloaded to your computer. Back in File Explorer here, again, I'm gonna follow that same format that I did just a moment ago, and I am going to create a brand new folder, and this time I'm just going to give it the name of Disable Updates, and we'll go into it. We will again paste that file we just downloaded, and then we will extract it. Once extracted, I will go inside of this folder and then just select all of the files, and we will copy that or cut that, and then we will paste it into the Disable Updates folder. Again, cleaning up the folder that it originally created, as well as the zip file, and just delete those. Okay, so let's head back over to the Windows Terminal, and we are going to create a new instance of the Ubuntu prompt. Again, we need to type in cd slash mnt slash c slash ps4 slash disable updates and then press return. So if we do an ls here, we will see that we have a series of files as well as a source folder. I'm going to cd into the source folder and if we do an ls-l here, we're going to see we have a main.c file. Now, for my editor, I am using Visual Studio Code. You can simply head over to code.visualstudio.com and then press the download button, and you will also have it on your machine. Now, the reason that I mention that is, is that this is for Windows, so if you try to open up code in Linux, as we are with Ubuntu, it will need to download some files, at least for the first run. So let's go and see what that looks like. So we'll type in code, and then we will type in main.c. Again, we're just trying to edit this file. And so now you should have a window that popped up that is in Visual Studio Code that has that file main.c. So let's look at that now. Okay, and so here is that project file, and if we scroll down into it, just a little bit here. You can see here is where the magic is happening for the Disable Updates payload. Basically what it is doing is it is creating two directories, one that's called ps4update.pup.net.temp, and then another one, which is just ps4update.pup. So when Sony tries to write to those folders, it's not able to do so because there is a directory that already exists in there. So for the notification that pops in the PlayStation 4 dashboard, what we're going to do here, instead of it saying disable updates, I'm going to simply modify line number 30 to say disabled system updates. So let's go ahead and let's do that now. So disabled system updates. And now I am going to press Control and S on my keyboard, which will save this file and will write it back into that directory. Okay, so we don't need that anymore. So we can come back over and do an ls-l and we can see there is the correct date and time just to make sure that it did accept our save. So let's go back one directory with cd dot dot and now we're going to just clear up the terminal and then there is a file that is inside of this, which is called the make file. So if we do an ls-l, right there is the make file. Again, the reason we're kind of using another payload as an example is because all of these files are already in here for us, ready for us to use. And so this make file is going to contain some of the definitions of how it should use that existing SDK that we installed in order to build a proper payload file. 
So let's go ahead and type in cat on makefile and press enter. And again, here is some of the instructions. You don't have to worry too much about this because this is obviously a working payload. I just wanted to show you this because there is some information that's in this that may be helpful in the future for you. So in order for us to build our payload, we're just gonna type in the word make, as you can see right down here at the bottom, and then press the enter button. And so if you see a screen just like this, then that means more than likely it was successful. We do see that there is a disabled updates.bin file that has been created. Let's take a look at this in Windows Explorer. Okay, and in Windows Explorer, we can see right here there is a disable updates dot bin file that is newly created. Let's go ahead and insert a USB drive because we're just going to simply copy that file over to it in order to get it on our PlayStation 4. I know there's a bunch of different variety of ways that you can send a bin file via PC, but I want to do as much of this as possible on the PlayStation 4 just to show you all the steps. So we're going to plug in another USB drive here and I am going to simply copy that bin file over to my USB drive. So let's paste. And now all I need to do is I need to disconnect the USB drive and then plug it in my PlayStation 4. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump over to the PlayStation 4 now. Okay, on the PlayStation 4, I am going to use a combination of PS4 Explorer and Payload Guest. So let's use PS4 Explorer to copy out that payload. Okay, and so here we are, we're in PS4 Explorer. I've just navigated to mount slash USB zero. I've highlighted disable updates.bin, and now I'm going to press the triangle button on my controller and select copy. And since we're using payload guest, those files are stored in data slash payload. So triangle again, and now we're going to select paste. Okay, we can now go ahead and close out of PS4 Explorer head over into Payload Guest. And once this boots up, we need to scroll down a little bit. And now we're gonna select the Disable Updates Payload. And so what we should see here is we should see a pop-up that says Disable System Updates. So let's go ahead and press X to select it. And there we go, Disabled System Updates with the keyword being system that's in there. There we go, there is your very first payload being built from beginning to end. And so thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you here. I believe I'm gonna do more videos just like this. So stay tuned. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out.